Hello friends, how is everyone doing? So, do you know what day is it today? It's April 1st, which means two things. It means it's April, which I'm already doing on Instagram. First post is up. And Vida! What is Vida? Vida is something that I don't I honestly don't know where it came from. I think it was Dodi who came up with it, but it stands for a video every day on April. And that's what I'm doing. Well, that's what I'm going to try to do. Because honestly, will Mon achieve to upload a video every day for a month? But when returning from holiday, she has midterms. Probably not. She's being way too optimistic, but we'll find out. So anyway, now that I explain what that is. Oh, by the way, if you listen to a bit of echo, that's because I'm in the bathroom. So I went through my videos and I realized that I never really made an introduction video like who is she? Where did she come from? Why is she suddenly singing Steven Universe? So I think after a year having this channel, it's, it's about time, it's, it's only right that I make a video about things, about me, you know, so you can get to know me and know where I come from and just, you know, know a little bit more about start. I have around 50 things I'm going to tell you. Do you guys remember the 50 things about me tag? Oh my god, that was like such a long time ago, but not really. It's so weird. Well, let's start at the beginning. My name is Mon. It's not my name name, because like my real name, my full name is Montserrat. Maria Montserrat. But as you know, it's way too long. <laughs> Usually to the people called like me, they're called Monty. But I don't like it. I think it's... I don't know. I don't know. I don't like it. And my family calls me Mo. Most of my friends call me Mont. And my granddad and my best friend call me Mon. And I just... I liked it better. Because it was it's, it's short and it's tiny and it's cute. And I like it. So I chose that one as my official name for the internet. I just turned 19. Um, I was born in October 25th. 2001 in Mexico City at 10 a.m. 10:04 to be more specific. Um, I have one sister and one brother, and they are both older than me. I was born in Mexico City, but I actually just lived here for like five years before I moved away because economy sucks. So I had to move away to another to a different state. And um, I lived there for about a year and then again moved to a town in the middle of nowhere where my mom's best friend lived because again, economy fucking sucks. And I stayed in that tiny little town for most of my life. I think from being seven years old to 18. And then I moved back to Mexico City at the beginning of quarantine and I've been living here a year now. I am in college right now. I am in first semester. And now for less dramatic facts. I love music more than life. It just, you know, it just makes me be happy to be here and have my life. And because it makes me realize that everything is worth writing about. And I love writing songs and I love creating music. And it's just, that's what I want to achieve with my music. Like, make people feel, let themselves feel things, just, just feel. <laughs> My favorite color is blue and yellow. I love those colors so much. They make me so happy. Sometimes I find them both in like images of, for example, a, a, a sunflower field with the sky so, 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 so blue and um, the happiest person in life. Oh, I love yellow and blue so much. My favorite book in the world is Kitchen by Banana Yoshimoto. It's, it's such a beautiful book. Please, if you haven't read it, read it. It's so beautiful. I love it. I love it so much. I could read it forever. And it's so short, so it doesn't matter. And uh, I just love it. My favorite movie ever is Little Women by Greta Gramwig. My god, I love that movie so much. It makes me so happy. I, there was one moment in time where I watched it every day for like three weeks. Every night I would play it on my DVD. I don't know why, I just, it's my comfort movie. <laughs> my favorite
favorite artist of all time, all time, like everything, all of it, Taylor Swift. I, I've been listening to her since I was like seven, around the time Fearless came out, and um, because my sister bought the, the record and we would play it on, the, on, on my dad's van like over and over and over and over. Seriously, the song Fearless just brings me back to my childhood. I love it so much. And yeah, she's like a very big, really gigantic inspiration for me and um, I love her so much and her music makes me so, so happy. I've had many pets in my whole life. Um, since I moved to a ranch, I've, I had like 26 dogs, probably. Like, okay, let me explain. I had one when I, I lived, when, the first time I moved away from Mexico City, I had a dog and then it got ill and it passed and I got another dog and that one stayed around for a really long time and we moved then to the, to the ranch and um, then my dog had puppies and they were like around 10 puppies I don't remember exactly how many there were but yeah I had tiny puppies in my house and then we were one time coming back from I don't know where and we saw two puppies in a, in a plastic bag and we, we um, tried to lure them to our house we put food and water outside and, um, and they slowly started to trust us and got inside and, and we adopted them and, and they lived with us for a really long time and then when we moved to the ranch, we first lived in a tiny house and then we moved to another house and in that house there was a dog already living there and it, it, it was really old so it wouldn't move or anything so we kept it <laughs> and we would feed it and everything. And then what we, the dog we thought was the mother of the two puppies that we had found outside um, was circling around our house constantly and we would give her a bit of food and then she had puppies as well <laughs> and we kept them around and then people adopted them so I mean it counts, they lived with me for a really long time they lived with me for like at least four months and I would feed them and play with them and oh. uh, I've also had six turtles I think in my life um, when I was younger especially because my dad would love to buy us turtles I also had like two goldfishes and a bunny I had a bunny once now I don't have any because I'm living with my granddad and he doesn't like pets so yeah, I don't have any pets right now but he makes me really sad and he's having a pet I love to want a ferret I don't know why like my TikTok has been showing me lots of ferrets and they're adorable, I want one I love this guy so so terribly much. Like I just think it's it's free it's a free painting that you can see whenever you want and it's always there to show you a show and uh, I love it, I love it. I can stare at this guy forever. Now coming back to the music topic, another really big inspiration for me is Dodie. Um I discovered her around 2016, I think, and yeah, she just it helped me realize so many things about myself and get to know me a bit better and path my way through my music and how I want to use the sound and stuff. I'm still finding that out, but like in general, she really helped me out and, and like get into the internet thing. And yeah, she's a really big inspiration for me and I'm so excited for her album Ooh, coming on May. Don't remember the date, it has been changed so many times, but May. <laughs> Go to follow. Um, I have. Five best friends. They, I met them all in high school. Uh, Joe, Sil, Lisa, Memo, and Dima. I haven't made many friends in college because it's online and it's quite hard for me to keep up with a conversation when it's, it, it, it's through messages because I don't know, it takes a lot of me to answer messages. I don't know why. Um, but I did meet. Uh, a girl, her name is Vanya, and she's so nice and she's so cool and we got along really really well like we hit it up right at the start and and she's so fun and I love her so much I also met another girl that's also named Vanya which is crazy because I had never ever in my life met anyone called named that way now I know two people and she also likes Taylor Swift so it's really fun to talk with her and that girl about things <laughs> 
I am a big Harry Potter fan and I am a Hufflepuff. I am also an INFP with a T, which is perfect. <laughs> Hufflepuff plus INFP is the best combination. <laughs> I believe in the universe and the destiny and all of that. I think soulmates are real. My favorite instrument is probably the violin or the piano. I want to learn the violin so badly, so badly. I can speak in English and Spanish very well. English because I studied it since I was very, very little in Spanish for obvious reasons. I'm Mexican. And I've had so many internet friends be so shocked when I tell them I'm Mexican. Like, what? But your English is so good. Just because it's not their first language, then assume they have a bad English. I can also speak a tiny bit of French, but like, Minuscule. Like, I took classes in high school, but I already forgot most of it, which I'm not happy about. I'm trying to freshen the memory, but it's really hard because I have classes now. So, yeah, but I'll get back to it. And if I could, I would also want to learn Italian. I want to learn Italian so badly because I want to live in Italy so badly. My favorite piano piece is probably Clef de Lune by Claude Debussy or um, Patience by the Lumineers. Right now I don't have any tattoos, but I have like 12 in mind. <laughs> well, I don't know because my mom doesn't like tattoos, but hopefully soon. Hopefully I'll be able to get one soon because like there's lots of them that I need to have as a reminder constantly because there are things that I forget and with the last mental breakdown I have I truly really need them so hopefully soon <laughs> um, I have a birthmark in my forehead you can really see it I used to show a lot more when I was little it's so peculiar because like the shape it has it kind of looks like a, like a V and NSC, which are the, the first letters of my two last names, which is so insane. Like, what? How? How did I? <laughs> I graduated high school a year ago, which is freaking insane, and I'm still not over it. Like, what? A year ago, and I didn't. Oh, COVID! <laughs> um, I like to draw, and I'm, I'm quite good at it. Well, I'm in the progress. Like, I'm, I'm good, but I could be a lot better, so I'm practicing. And I'm still practicing and I'm getting better, slowly, slowly, slowly but surely. I also like to write poems and stories. Um, you'll get a taste of it in my post on Instagram for April. Um, but yeah, I also like to write not just songs and I'm also quite good at it. <laughs> but it's always, there's always room for um, progress. I could be better, but I'm good and I will get better slowly. My favorite flower is the stone flower, of course. I love it so dearly. It makes me so happy and, and many people associate me with a stone flower and that makes me the happiest person alive because it's like, you're my stone flower. Like I have a friend that calls me her sunshine and that makes me so incredibly happy. You don't understand. <laughs> and being associated to my favorite flower is always just, oh, it makes me so happy, man. Now I'm a bit of a, not so happy facts, I have anxiety and it's quite bad, like it, it started when I was in middle school and it just progressively grew worse and stronger and it's a nightmare and I hate it but I still haven't had the chance to like try to find a way to make it less or like at least treat it but um, I'll get there hopefully. <laughs> I have the hardest time letting go of things, like it's so incredibly hard for me to let, even like the most insignificant thing, it's really hard for me to let go of it or to like accept change, it's, it's so hard for me to do it, like it takes a real toll on me. My hand trembles all the time, like all the time and it, it gets so much worse when I'm nervous or when I'm excited about something, like, like look, I'm not moving it, like, that's it's usual state. <laughs> I hope to win a Grammy one day with my music. Oh, me. <laughs> but I really hope I, I, I win a Grammy one day. No, I know, I know I will. I, I know I will win a Grammy one day. And lastly, I, um, I hope you enjoyed getting to know me a bit better today. Some of the old. <laughs>
That was so cheesy. Ugh. Now you know me a bit better, which is great. Um, the lighting changed because I always decide to film when it's the light is going away, so why? I don't know. I should get better at that. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And yeah, all of you know, all of my social media are down in the description if you want to follow Escape Rope. It's on my Instagram. And yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs>